What's up guys? So Landon is back once more, and of course that means we're going to be eating something, but I want to talk specifically about Soylent. Um, Soylent 1.5 and 2.0, the two big products that Soylent rolls out. 2.0 is the more popular choice. It's smoother, the texture is easier, the taste is a little bit better. Um, most people prefer 2.0. But I maintain 1.5 has been a steady part of my diet from the very beginning, and I think it's pretty easy. That said, I did use a couple of tactics to make it easier to drink and to kind of slowly get more used to it. One of my favorites was I would add a little bit of chocolate coconut water. And we used that in a taste test way back, day 77, and somewhere thereabouts, maybe day 80. Um, but we've been there, done that. And well, this time when I went shopping, I couldn't find it anyway. So I thought, let's go a little more mainstream. What other main chocolate product do we have that we can add to Soylent 1.5? Chocolate milk. Yeah, I like chocolate milk. But there's a ton of chocolate milks on the market. Yeah. And really, when it comes down to it, um, you know, yes, we want to be watching the nutrition on it, how much sugar is being added, how much fat's being added, all that kind of stuff. Because the more you add to your Soylent, the more you're adding to your day's calorie intake. So we're going to take this one more seriously. There's going to be a lot of nutritional information on the screen. I'll take care of all of that later on. Um, and as we get into it, I'm curious if we do this truly double blind so that neither one of us know what we're drinking. If we go through cheap chocolate milk, expensive chocolate milk, uh, Nestle Quick, coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk, what really is the best? And so I'm going to do it blind as well. And I'm going to give it sort of a fair shot and see what I really respond to. Because adding just eight ounces of chocolate milk to a full shaker bottle of Soylent can make a huge, huge difference for the taste. And if you're having a hard time getting into your 1.5, this might be a good way to do it. So without further ado, we're going to do the lineup and then we're going to take turns switching things out so that neither one of us knows where things are. And later, I'm going to use the tape to help untangle it. Yeah. But here we go. Without further ado, number one. Is that a good vintage? Is it? Mm. To me, it tastes almost artificial. Yeah. There's a heavy layer of sweetness behind it. I get I get the sugar before I get chocolate. That's really really sweet. It's it's really thin. Just surprising. Um. It's weird. I, I really don't get a lot of chocolate. Yeah, it's it. It tastes like uh, it tastes like the chocolatiness that you get from like a protein shake or something like that, which they throw a lot of sweetness in a lot of those to cover up all the blech in there. I have a guess. I am not too sure. Let's see. Um, I mean, it tastes it tastes cheap. I might move this, but I'll go with cheap. Hey, we're we're going to put down our first choice all the way down, and then at the very, very end, we can swap things around if we feel it. Um, so, first guess is, I'm going coconut. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. That already does have its own natural sweetness, so... Number two. Also very thin. But it tastes richer. It tastes... I get more chocolate milk off it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I... I'm even gonna say that's, that's really rich. Very. I have a guess. I believe I do, too. I, I might change my mind on this later on, but... I'm going three, two, one. Dairy. Cashew is my uh -huh. guess. Totally different so far. 
Number three. That tastes the same to me. It tastes maybe a little more, I feel like I'm getting a little more of that artificial sweetener kind of, or at least forced sweetness. That's, <clears throat> I have a guess. I'm gonna go with Okay. I'm going cheap. Nesquik. Ooh. That could be. That could be. Which, I mean, it's still dairy, but yeah, totally different situation. <laughs> now, this next one, number four, is very dark in color. They're visually very different than the others. I hope that means it's delicious and dark chocolatey. It almost does taste a little more dark chocolate. So far, number two is nice and rich and like, it's very desserty. like by itself, I can almost do that like dessert. And then this one has the most distinct like dark chocolate character. Hmm. But I do think that that has never been seen by a cow. Hmm. That's, that's just my guess. That's just my guess. It kind of tastes like chocolate pudding. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's that specific. I have a guess. I'm moving towards dairy. I'm going almond. Still, okay. we're totally in disagreement all the way down the board. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I, I, I thought this was actually going to be a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I thought there would be some that we agreed on. All right, number five. Okay, between the two that I have left, this is an easy choice for me. Because I, I only have two cards left. I know which one that is. I know what that is. Three, two, cashew. Coconut. Ooh. That is coconut. It's a little, it's like a little moundsy. You know, mounds almond joy. Yeah. I, I think you're right. Mounds almond joy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got one left. We'll see how I feel after I taste this. <clears throat> yep, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. This this is one of two, and I only have one card left, and that's one of the two. So, um, mm. that's. I just had a thought. Okay, well, I only have one left, so I'm playing this quick. I'll go with almond. I mean, okay. There's a couple that I'm iffy, but I I think I'm I'm close enough. I'm I'm. So now, if we want to make any swaps, and. Before we continue, a real quick, here's the current score before we switch things out. And if we want to make any swaps now at the time, um, and I'm going to make one swap. I think that Nesquik was down here, that rich, desserty one. And then I think this is the dairy milk. I mean, just looking at the glass and how much cream has been left on the glass, I think mm -hmm. that, that's, I think that's got to be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and leave it. I'm I'm just gonna stay with what I've got because if I switch something to the wrong one, then I'm gonna be <laughs> mad at myself. So, so at this point, we are in total disagreement. Interesting. Let's go to the tape, and we have a winner, and it wasn't him. <laughs> so if you want to make your sword a little more drinkable, experiment. See what makes a difference, and 
Now that we've declared our favorites, the ones that really stood out to us, for me, despite myself, Nesquik kind of tastes like dessert, but that was one that really stood out to me. Um, some of the others, like the cashew milk, I think is going to make for a great mix. Um, the dairy was just too much, it was too thick. Um, but look at the nutritional information that I've been putting up on screen and see what you think. And based on that, you know, all of this has to be taken into account. And if you're going to add a little bit, what are you doing overall? All I'm saying from the beginning, awareness. Know what you're putting in your body. And if you need a little extra, do a little extra. Because you know what? There's some good choices here. Until next time, guys. All the best.